Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises and all glory to the true and living power, which is Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Raka Kwadash. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai is the true name of His only begotten Son. And there is no God beside them. And I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who definitely rule well, who have taught us 100% truth of the scriptures. And honors and citations to the elect document doing these works in season out of season, week in, week out, in sincerity and in truth. So in this lesson, you know, I just want to, um, pretty much entirely like, uh, my father's business, you know, along those lines. Because, uh, yeah, man, that's ultimately what it's all about at the end of the day. So this is Luke chapter 2, verse 49. And he said unto them, the words of Yahweh Shai, how is it that ye sought me? Would she not that I must be about my father's business? See that? So Yahweh Shai was all about the business of Yahweh Bashim Shai. Like it says in Luke 9 and 62, no man looking back, no man putting his hand to the plow looking back is fit for the kingdom of the Most High. And part of what? Uh, the father's business. Let me get this uh, real quick. All right, in the book of Hebrews, chapter 3, verse, uh, uh, verse 12. Take heed, brethren, lest there be in any of you an evil heart of unbelief. In departing from the living power. See that? So that that that's part of this spiritual demon Satan, man. Walking about as a wrong lion. Seeking whom he may devour. So like it. And I'll never forget. um The the, the elder brother, Demar Shapat. Brought up the analogy of. You know, that lion when it hunts. It looks for the weakest, the weakest link, right? One that may be limping, okay? One that's not paying attention or the slowest. It looks for the weakest one. And, you know, that's, which, which that's not to, um, you know, compare brothers, but, uh, so that we may all look look at look at it in that aspect of not being the weakest one because we all going to be the whole we all going to make it anyway though willing we all be the hopeful elect so it's not to put it that way but um yeah so that we may look at it ourselves first and foremost so satan see a weak or, or the fallout boy for uh for instance he may have a bunch of stuff bunch of doubts going on in his head and you know, he's, he's looking weak. So Satan, as a wrong line, devours that dude because he had the evil heart of unbelief. And it just festered and festered till Satan got him out of there and made him depart from the living power. So it says, uh, verse 13, but exalt one another daily while it is called today. See, so we have so part of our father's business, Yahweh Bashman Shai's business, is to exalt one another daily. Exhort one another, do these exhorting lessons to continue in the faith. You know, you got your uh, defense of the gospel lessons, you know, teaching lessons, um, so forth and so on. So part of the father's business is to exalt one another daily. While well, it is called today. So let's get into this word here, ex exhort, remind, remind one another. Um, exhort to strongly encourage or urge someone to do something. All right, what's that something is what? Remain in the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim al Shai and wait upon waiting upon the Lord. Let's go into uh, the blue letter as well in the Greek word. Right, uh, 
to call so like I don't got the dude to break down the word. It says to call to one side, call for summon, to address, speak to, call to, call upon, which may be done in the way of exhortation, entreaty, comfort, and instruction. Right? Look at C to console, to encourage and strengthen by consolation. See, so strengthen one another. And comfort one another within the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Hashai, knowing that Satan, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. See, so this is part of the uh, of Yahweh Bashem Hashai's business, making sure um, that we good by doing these lessons. That's part of why we do these lessons, man. And then it's on us as well. On the other side of the coin to listen in. Because the scriptures say that what? Faith cometh by hearing. And hearing. Alright. Well, um, let me get it. So I don't butcher it. What's that? Um, is it the book of Romans? No, no. Maybe in the book of Acts. Let me just search it up. I believe it's Romans 10, 7. Yeah, Romans 10 and 17. It says, uh, so then, uh, yeah, so then faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of the Most High. And who brings out the word of the Most High? The, the prophets, the men of the Lord. So it's, 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 it's up to us to listen in to these lessons so that we can get that comfort, encouragement, that strengthening. You know, more enlightenment, so to speak, to um, remain within the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. Okay. Um, right, so that we can, like I was going to get in the book of, I believe that's the book of Psalms. Like uh, you know, uh, spin man. Um, pretty much this here to uh cleanse, pretty much you know that I, that I'm on. But uh, anyway, so let me let me search this. Cause yeah, man, we could get um, yeah, we could get like that's why scriptures also say. In your patience, possess you your souls. Possess me what to still have control. While we're in our patience, waiting upon things to make our uh, situation easier, but then we, you know, we can get distracted and caught up in that shit, and then Satan could try and creep in and and try and knock you off your pivot. All right, but we gotta remember that we about our father's business. Put that, put the first love first. Put the true business first, man. The true business. So it says, uh, Isaiah chapter thirty, verse eighteen. And therefore will you how about I wait that he may be gracious unto you? And therefore will he be exalted that he may have mercy upon you for Yahweh Bashem Hashai is a power of judgment blessed are all they that wait for him okay so con for us to continue to encourage one another strengthen one another as we what as we wait upon Yahweh Bashem Hashai you see that's a major catch 22 for Esau who pretty much, for lack of better words, he's in a pickle, man. Because here it is, if he tries to speed up and do anything, then he's just speeding up to, speeding up closer to uh, um his doom. But then if he try and take things slow, then the, the hopeful elect gets stronger and grow even further more. 
But then if you try and come and try and shut that down, then Yahweh Shai speeds speed he's his his return comes even speedier. So it was like there's nothing he can do. If he sit and wait, we grow more and more, get stronger. Each in the one each one of us individually gets stronger and stronger and stronger. And the truth spreads more and more and more upon the whole planet Earth if he just sits back. Then when he tries to come down like a madman sparing none, you know, knowing that he has for the short time, then he knows that the Lord is going to return even that much quicker. So it's like, what can you do? Right. But see, this is why you are. Uh, um, What's that? He's wearied and wearied in his counsels, roughly paraphrasing. But at the end of the day, it's all the spare and power you have by anyway, who's controlling it all anyway. But he's driving himself mad because he thinks that he has some type of control. Okay. So that's pretty much it, man. You know, just to stay about the true business. Even though we could have some anticipation within things in the world. To try and uh, hurry up and come together. But um, there's, there's many different tests out here. The test of patience, the test of discipline, the test of faith, all the things that please the Lord. You, know, you take that in school, you got social studies, you got gym, you got math. Well, in this truth, you got patient, the test of patience, once again, the test of wisdom, the test of faith, the test of discipline. So we got to pass in all aspects A king, which we're, which we're um, going to be a, a nation of royal priests and kings. The king got to know all these aspects. The king got to know what it's like to be patient in situations. He got to know what it's like to, to take an L. You know, I, was, I was watching 1883 and one of the dudes, he, he had to, he had to take an L. He had to look like he was, um, like he was down bad. It was nothing he could do. He could have responded, but it would have been stupid. So a king got to know all aspects, man. So we're being tested on all aspects, on all levels, by the spirit power of Yahweh Shemashah, that we may know and learn and become a judge, a, a, a good judge, man. So it's all a test, and uh, we got to be truly about our father's business, man. Lord willing, this was edifying. With that, I'm going to say Shalom.